Hello, my name is George and the eyes are big for a reason. <laughs> Welcome right here to another video. It's been a while, I would say. Today we are discussing three important people, or would I say just two persons based on patterns I begin to notice about um, people like this. Now, if you've watched me over time or you're not new to my person, you know I've discussed about things happening in the Christian circle, especially when it comes to the scandals and the very controversial stuff, which is where my attention gets to be more on you understand and recently i've been posting videos about things happening in politics videos of professor lumumba so as i speak today one of the greatest qualifications in african politics is the size of your pocket so that if you ask any typical african politician how much does it cost for you cost you to be elected into parliament, they'll tell you it is in the millions. It is in the millions and the millions they spend is perhaps 10 times more than they'll ever earn through their legitimate salaries. Political office holder to take during campaign to use. A member of the House of Representatives is expected by law to have not more than 770 70 million naira to conduct his elections and whatever logistics and other things 70 million naira cash by law yes a presidential candidate for instance needs to have how much about about one five billion or one billion one billion for presidential candidates at least the law the law the law the law has provided for us the amount of money we need to oversee our election process. You need to pay your agents in the villages where you don't have ATM machines, in the villages where you don't have pure air, in the villages where absolutely you don't have this new Nera. So this is money that I require, that the law has permitted me to have 70 million Nera as logistics for my election funding. I need to have this 70 million Nera in hard copy. But there is a sense in Africa in which the politician, whether they say it or not, actually believe that we, the electorate, are a bunch of nincompoops. You people don't even care about watching those. But I will not be surprised that many people are going to be watching this video right now. But it's okay. Let's get straight to the point. You're looking at the person of Prophet Passion Java once again. <laughs> Interesting. Now, before we get into that as well, thank you very much, my 200,000, wow, followers on Facebook. With all the rapturing I've been doing over time, many have watched me, but few have decided to remain. Even those who hate me with so much passion, they still follow me. Thank you still. At least you're here on the platform making sense out of the trend we see on social media. Thank you very much. Now, the person of Passion Java is someone I've discussed already before on this platform. Some of you have forgotten, but if, if you're watching me on YouTube, you can watch the pin video in the comments. That is the previous video I made about him in the past. Now, I don't get to talk about a whole lot of what I say, pastors or things that happen in the church outside Nigeria, which is where my eye gets to beam most of. But when I get to look at other continents in Africa, even outside of Africa, like I've looked at before, I see almost the same pattern. Sorry I always bring you the negative news, but I think if you don't know what is happening like this in the body of Christ, you think everything is perfect. So if you're wondering why I always talk about the negative news, I think now you have your answer, okay? Now, Passion Java is someone that, just like the person we have looked at here many times, very popular for his scandalous news as well, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, is someone like Prophet Passion Java. But with his, his own case, is quite different because of how unique like the recent one that just came out right now sounds first of all let's let's listen to yolanda hi my name is yolanda and i am making this video as a final attempt to ask for help i am currently eight months pregnant and the person that i am pregnant for is a prophet named passion java i met passion early last year and one thing led to another, we ended up being in a full-blown relationship. Before I go forward with this video, I would actually like to acknowledge my wrongdoing and take accountability for my part in all of this. 
I just don't feel that the repercussions that I'm facing are warranted at all. My life is in serious danger. I've had to flee my country um, because things got so bad that I was being followed and there was even a kidnap attempt. His main objective is to kill our baby. Even at this late stage, he said he will not stop at anything until our baby is dead. I am filled with paranoia and anxiety. I am const I live in a constant state of fear because I always have to be on the move. Um, things have been so bad that I've almost been drugged so I can go into early labor. I tried to speak out about my situation back home a few weeks ago, but I was silenced um, because this man does have a lot of influence when it comes to the media back home. He has used his ties to, you know, the powers that be to terrorize and harass those who have helped and tried to help me. What's even crazier is that um, when I spoke out about my story, countless girls approached me and shared their similar ordeals, um, you know, of him basically getting into relationships with them and getting them pregnant and then forcing them to have abortions, allegedly. I believe this man is a predator and he uses his title as a man of God to um, prey on vulnerable girls and put them in these situations where they have to have forced abortions. All I'm fighting for is for our baby to have a chance at life. I believe our child has a right, you know, to live. Now she is a younger sister to another lady by the name Hillary, said to have been dating Passion Java in the past, at least 10 months ago from now quite interesting now the video you see play on your screen is passion java and the sister to the one you just heard her talk about her being pregnant for him right now eight months hey what's up it's your girl hillary makaya and the idiosyncratic Dagafa Passion D Java. I'm launching one of the biggest brands in Africa. And it's happening at the HICC right here in Arare, Zimbabwe this July, second week. You don't want to miss it for any reason. We also have the after party happening at the Alex Sports Club on the 16th of July. And I already bought a lot of tickets for those that can't afford to make it there, supporting our local talent. Remember, Joyega Skinke in Odarika, Jesus Gunzwananariana and stuff. Our own Hilary Makaya is doing it right here in Zimbabwe and for youth empowerment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Gandara Chugano Dota Lagadeso by the project. So And they're having very much of a good time together. Now, on the outside it's perceived to be more of like the you know based on the fact that passion java is into you know socialite entertainment and all that still being a prophet you know we've talked about this before early on two years ago maybe i'm going to bring back those videos later to remind you of how i talked about the church and the world mix or would i say how certain things are right now and what i foresee in the future and i'm not surprised at what i'm seeing right now because it's more like majority of christians right now are very much secular but for me, myself, as a creator, I see everything happening on social media and my job right here is to talk about them and make sense of what I see. C'est clair? Oui. Imagine this person right now being the younger sister to someone that was rumored to be in a relationship with Passion Java and she now has a baby for him. Now you will see some people in the comments say that, oh, it's a lie. It's one of those things again, yeah, just like the way they lie up against Apostle Suleiman. That's how they're lying against this one. Some of you that are also following this people, you know the truth. You know it's the truth. Even Passion Java for his own himself, he his own is just so glaring that he gets to confirm it and owns up to it in a way that he talks about it casually. Like for example, there was someone that he dated, got pregnant, and actually told her to abort the child, which of course, I believe she did. Look at this video of Leshanda Game. As you can see playing on your screen right now, where she talked about her relationship with Prophet Passion Java. 
she has videos of their relationship together in the room outside the room everything together as you could see played there she shared also chat messages of both of them when he said he loves her and when she told him that she is herself is pregnant and it was more of like you know her having a child for him is going to affect his reputation so it would be good if she gets to remove it the message is right there and she posted it herself on her tiktok with this one right now, some of you that are followers, like we have talked about the person of Apostle Suleiman and his scandals, you will always ask questions like, oh, is there a picture of both of them together? Is there a video of both of them together? Blah, blah, blah. So with this one right now, it was so glaring that even his wife, and that's why I get to find something really interesting right here. The wife of these pastors always get to defend them. Like when Passion Java's own came out, the girl made a video and all that, this was Passion Java's own reaction to the story. This is what Passion Java had to say about the accusation. Akumanaga. Wakoma no wen bai beru wai nakiru. Baba, endenge movie lefa wai nakiru. David ai chaya kuchaya ai nakiru. Agaru amkadzwe munhu. Shamari Jacob Baga Shanda 14 years. Shandi Rakadi 2, Tana Kiru. Solomon Agaru Rakadi 1000. You don't pass your son. What do you call that? Uh, he only dates nice girls. I mean, sexy girls, he just doesn't go and date anyone anyhow. So he's also confirming that he was cheating. He said to be his reaction to the news of him dating the girl that got pregnant and had to remove the child for him. Now, I know you don't understand what they were speaking. I don't understand what he was saying right there in the video of myself. But I heard him saying Solomon had how many and this one had how many. Maybe that's what he's talking about. But if you understand what he was saying there in their language, you could tell me in the comments. But understanding this right now, it begins to make sense when it comes to his own pattern and when it comes to scandals like this. That's why I am not surprised of this one right now. Being a sister to someone that he's been rumored to be dating before, having been pregnant for him. And she wants to keep the baby. And if you listen to her very well, she said, our baby. Now... Passion Java, like we have looked at him before as well, is someone that is connected politically. Come on, this is someone that sits down with the president of Zimbabwe. Come on, think about that for your for a second. Like they chill together. When it comes to his lavish lifestyle, listen to him right here talk about his acquisitions. Simone. I got a Lambo. Nobody in my family ever did that. From 1900 till now, nobody ever. I got a helicopter. I got a jet. I got a beautiful wife. I have beautiful children. I have a beautiful life. I pray over your life. You shall do better. I receive. I receive. And better than your mother. I receive. Better than your father. I receive. Better than your uncles. I receive. Better than your aunties. I receive. Better than anybody around you. I receive. You. Because greater, greater is he who is in you than he who is in them. Yes. I came here to prophesy. Yes. Do you receive the same? Uh -huh. Just be typing amen for me in the comments. You will not type amen now. Okay? Because you have been able to, I will say, fund their lifestyle. And then they're, they're, they're releasing prophetic words to you. So, hallelujah. Clap for yourself. Daddy, daddy. If live. Do you understand right now? So, as you begin to see this pattern now, it begins to make sense. And I was looking at the story, I was just wondering to myself, what the heaven is going on? And of course, when you look at Passion Java's net worth, very, you know, lavish lifestyle, he got a lot of money, and he's into, you know, music, entrepreneur, into church as well, so he's able to shape shift into different aspects of life. And he's a man of God. Am I here judging him? I'm just discussing this fact I see, because 
Maybe as Africans, we should be expecting something different from how these people are supposed to put themselves based on scripture. But of course, back in scripture, there were no Lamborghinis, there were no Ferraris, there were no helicopters. You could not say that um, there would be lifestyles like this. But of course, when you look at the apostles in the Bible, can you compare them with the people you call apostles today? I just begin to wonder where are we heading to? But Passion Java, of course, is a man in, in his own respect. He can do whatever he wants. He can run his church any way he wants. It is his church. It is his members. But these things are on social media being discussed about a man that is purported to be of God. Of course, he prophesied that Tinubu is going to win our forthcoming election as a prophet. I'll be coming to Nigeria soon. This coming year. We're going to storm Nigeria with fire. Then in Nigeria already saw the elections when I prophesied International Day of Prophecy. Yes. And I saw this man with the glasses and the name was like T. T. And I saw him walking into power. This February, we will live in the future. We are the prophetic. And prophets are hiding, scared to say it. Me, we, we know what happens, so we say it. Yes. But this one is walking in power, 100% guaranteed. Yes. Mm. Today, when I was praying, as I was praying, the Spirit called him a name. I was surprised. Because he said, the jackal is cut off. I said, jackal? I thought I knew the meaning of jackal. I had to go into the dictionary to find what is a jackal? I said, why do they call him a jackal? What is a jackal? It means a trickster, a swindler, and one that operates in behalf of another for the purpose of deception. That's one. So in the spirit, the second one, I said, what about, what about him? What about the second one? He said, if you let him get in office, you will have no country. I said, Lord. So in the spirit, the second one, I said, what about, what about him? What about the second one? He said, if you let him get in office, you will have no country. I said, Lord. Then the Spirit. I saw the third one. He was afraid. He was afraid he might win now. He was afraid of losing. He didn't want to lose. But he was almost scared of winning. I said, Lord. Then he says, Pray. I said, God of heaven, give him wings to fly. Yeah. Yeah. And I, 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 when it comes to elections, because of the sensitivity of, you know, the sort of our, our position, because I said they're all, they're all children. His name is in the Bible. <laughs> Many prophets have prophesied different things. But coming back to the main subject of conversation right now, the woman that is pregnant for him and she's asking for help. She has to be on the run because she wants to keep the baby. You know, it begs, begins to make sense to me as well because that baby she has would be the only evidence of their established relationship, I would say, because the one that was posting a video of her getting pregnant for him and saying how much they love each other and all that, how much they were looking out for each other and everything, felt heartbroken after maybe having gotten rid of the baby do you understand but this one wants to keep the baby 
eight months, just a month ago, and she's maybe somewhere undisclosed. Definitely not in her own country because she had to flee. You understand? Well, Pachon Java denied that nothing ever happened with them. And when I go through the comments, I see people writing in the comments, don't you know he was married? Where did you go? Oh my God. Now, of course, women could be very, very nasty sometimes. But when it comes to this, why didn't you say, didn't he know he was married and is even a pastor, a man of God? Why did he have to go engage in that? But of course, if you look at his person and his... And one thing I like about Passion Java, aside this whole scandal and all that, is that he is not pretentious. Like the one we have talked about before that you will not even believe in your entire life. <laughs> Until I started seeing pictures from uh, Halima and then the ones, the patterns, you'll be like, wait, till. Oh. This man that will come and be praying every morning or every evening, when does he have time to do this? But you see, compared to the person of Passion Java, his own is real. He's showing everything. He's just, man, I don't care. If you do anything, <laughs> it's quite interesting, I would say. Last time it was the same Passion Java that said that being a slave queen is a calling. We watched the video. These are things that he publicly makes this claim. Now look at the video of him here. I played it before. No one saw it, saw it in my last video. He is doing prophecy with his son, Prophet Love. The same his son that they were doing prophecy together and they had to raise um, a thousand dollar seed for those who want to get married or something. He is drinking there. Now I don't know if he's drinking alcohol or something, but they're obviously having a prophetic move and ufufu. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't know if it was police that was called. I don't know what it the was. The realms of the spirit, I they see a vision for this one. Yes. Sacrificing his birthday to be with this one. And the police stopped this man. And his car was taken. The car was taken, right? And the car... Now, most of you watching me right now, you follow after gifts. Now, whether he has a real gift of God or he has his, his working with spirit of divination like those who claim to be in the spiritual realm, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to call it. By their, how do you get to know them based on scripture? You know them by their fruits. What fruits do you see? There are many who are planted in different altars. But they are not... They haven't started showing their fruits yet. Because it's by the fruit that you get to know the tree. So if you are not seeing the fruits yet, the people you might be following and thinking that they are uh, this and this, perfect to another. Now, I'm not trying to say like anyone is perfect and all. But for you to be, the Bible gives standards for people who get to be in that position of leadership, that position of being spiritual leaders. What happens is that when these women come out, let's agree on one thing. When they were enjoying, like when they were in the full-blown relationship and then they were having their, you know, cryptocurrencies and all that, you didn't know. I was not there. You were not there. It was fun. It was amazing. Until while I come cast, that is when we all come to know. So when you look at all these people, when the women are having affairs with them, some of them, of course, they are really, really manipulated. They are being put under the subject of, oh, spiritual father, this and this. Some of them, they willingly offer themselves as living sacrifice unto their pastors to be, because they want money. Some of them understand the business they are going into. Some of them know that, oh, one day, at least it's better for me to be doing this with a man of God than for me to do it with a Yahoo boy. Maybe Yahoo boy is going to do this and this and this to me. But man of God, eh, this one is pure. At least God understand. I'm telling you what I, s <laughs> oh my God. Sometimes I receive some DMs of people sharing stories. I'm like, what is what kind of I don't understand why people think like this. So when I see people in the comments even defending the truth that they can see themselves, even using scripture to defend and say, Oh, even if, oh, come on, what of Solomon? Oh, what of David that is a man after God's own heart? This one you do pass David, you do pass Solomon. I understand because you people, you are not very much different from your spiritual leaders. Like those you have hold to a high esteem, or would I say someone you follow so much? You might think that you are different, but some way, somehow, you, you just carry the same kind of spirits they carry inherently, somehow. For those of you that believe in inheriting the spirits of men, like we have looked at before, people who claim they have inherited the spirit of um, 
you know, different men of God and they're performing in the same spirit of the man of God. I've seen so many things in this Christianity and I'm just wondering to myself, what is really going on? So when the wives come out to defend like this, not as if they don't know the truth. They know the truth, but of course, sometimes they just want to stand in for the family and for the sake of the kids they have. Unlike the story we have looked at before this time, the one we looked at in South Africa between the South African woman and then the Cameroonian pastor. If you have not watched that video, it is still here. The wife herself came out and spoke about the husband's infidelity. Even though she herself, after divorcing from the husband, you know, was now started doing her own as well and the husband was now using that as well to diss her very messed up story but if you have not watched that video it's still right here on youtube you might check it out in the pinned comments but you get to see that when it comes to you yourself who believe that the life of your pastor is uh you know saint in fact they themselves that are sitting close to jesus in fact they they see jesus every day you see the same way you go through things in your family, what happens in a normal family setting where you see some kind of like infidelity and this and that and blah, blah, blah. It could still be happening in your own pastor's family. Just that they themselves are the one preaching to you and they would be giving you these vibes of, you know, uh -huh, instructor, this and this. They, they will even see your fufu and see your situations, however they see it. But you see, when their own come out like this, they begin to run kitty kitty, run kata kata. Look for where to hide this, hide this. But when you go to church, they will do fufu with your own situations and then they will put it on camera and post on social media. But when their own come out like this, either they will be looking for a way to sue this person or sue this person or arrest this person or arrest this person because they are talking about the obvious stories about them that are true and factual. The point is right now is when you look at your pastors, when you look at your spiritual leaders, those you call spiritual leaders, don't look at them as if they are these people that can that are infallible. No. Accept the truth you want to accept about them, which you know is true. Then if you decide to follow them, you are following them informed of what exactly you are doing. Not because you just decide to intentionally blind yourself to the truth. Because with that, you are even falling to a deeper dish and it looks as if you are hypnotized to some people that know the truth and are looking you in your face and telling you, come on, can't you see the truth in this? Passion Java is someone very clear and open about his lifestyle. Of course, he still has followers on top of that. So what is stopping him? Elijah! 